Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video we are discussing percentage ingredients and more specifically high active ingredients such as niacinamide, tranexamic acid, azelaic acid and even retinoids. And we'll be discussing if the higher the concentration of ingredient is it better for you. <laughs> And over the last year or so, we have seen a huge increase in demand from consumers that kind of just want more from their products. And this is because we are becoming a lot more savvy with our skincare. We are buying and experimenting with a lot more products. And these days we are seeing a lot more brands releasing new products very regularly. So like I would even say there's a new product out there probably once or twice a week, which can really get very overwhelmed at times and it can be really easy to fall down that rabbit hole of wanting the latest and most trendiest skincare product or ingredient. And with that we are seeing brands bring out higher concentrations of popular active skincare ingredients promising to transform our skin. Goodbye my half used 10% nice in my bottle and hello my 20% nice in my new bottle. But do we actually need these high concentrations of active ingredients? And the short and sweet answer is absolutely no we do not. However, that does not stop brands releasing high percentages of these active ingredients and it can get kind of a bit confusing because there are certain ingredients that perform very, very differently in different concentrations and can work differently in terms of the formula. And for example, retinoids are that kind of, in a sense, that umbrella group of vitamin A. However, you have different retinoids from retinol to retinaldehyde to tretinoin and also to retinal palmitate. However, with each retinoid, you have the very different strengths and how it can perform on the skin. And a 1% retinol product is going to act very differently to a 1% tretinoin product because basically a 1% tretinoin product is going to destroy your skin. And tretinoin commonly goes up to a concentration of 0.1%, which is still incredibly strong, probably a lot more stronger than a 1% retinol. However, that 0.1% concentration of the tretinoin could possibly lead on to a lot more irritating side effects for the skin and more dryness and peeling, rather than that 1% retinol that has that slower release time um, to actually work on the skin. This is why we shouldn't be so fast in thinking that the higher concentration of active ingredients are actually better for our skin because it really does depend on the actual ingredient, how it can perform on the skin and the overall formulation. Does the active ingredient come in a gel based formula or does it come in a cream moisturizing emollient based formula? And also it is really important to know your skin's tolerance levels. Do you have sensitivity? Do you have dry skin? or is there another ingredient in that formula that just does not agree with your skin? And these are all of the factors that can determine how well a product can work for you. And another example is niacinamide. So the ordinary 10% niacinamide solution was a sellout product of last year and even the year before. However, it left many users with irritation and more breakouts than before. And research states that niacinamide is still an incredibly effective ingredient at treating the light of inflammation, uneven skin tone, and reinforcing the skin barrier at concentrations of just 4 to 5%. And so we've taken this research into account. Why do we need 10% niacinamide and even 20%? Unfortunately, it's simply a marketing tactic for brands to basically offer the quicker results in a short amount of time. However, even though niacinamide is that perfect anti-inflammatory ingredient with a multitude of other benefits for the skin, even 20% is still very, very potent, even for the most tolerable skin type. And then we also have to think about niacinamide being included in so, so many of our other skincare products in our routine. So you can find niacinamide in cleansers, in toners and essences, and moisturizers, and even SPFs. And it can be really, really tricky for your skin to have a break from this active ingredient. And then you plow on a 20% niacinamide serum, and you're just like, Oh my God. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that each time you layer that active ingredient, each time you apply a product, so the 
percentage increases because that is not what happens whatsoever. It's just about finding the balance of your skin and treating it slowly. And Michelle Wong from Lab Muffin Beauty Science actually makes a really good analogy in one of her blog posts. I'll leave it linked in the description box down below. And she compares the ingredients percentages with foods. And for instance, pepper. So add a little bit of pepper to a dish makes it taste good. Adding a little bit more can make it taste better, but adding far too much can really make it taste awful. And what Michelle is getting at is that pepper can make or break a dish. Adding it is just to enhance the flavours of the dish, but adding too much of it can really leave a bitter taste in the mouth. And another interesting ingredient that is becoming more and more popular is azelaic acid. And the research behind this ingredient is absolutely incredible because it can really help to treat skin inflammation issues like rosacea, treat hyperpigmentation and on, on uneven skin tone, and it can be a really fantastic acne fighting ingredient. And those studies are proven at a concentrations as low as 10%. However, azelaic acid will still really perform well on the skin at concentrations of around 5%. So 10% is kind of like the, P, the piece de la resistance, if you'd like to call it. And for instance, we have the brown face theory who have their 15% azelaic acid serum. And we also have the newly released product from Dermatica, which is their 20% azelaic acid product. Side note, I do believe that azelaic acid is a lot harder to get in the US. Is it prescription strength or is it over the counter? I'm not too sure, but please do let me know in the comments below. However, here in the UK and in Europe, it is really readily available. Anyway, I've been using Face Fairy's 15% azelaic acid serum for quite some time now, and I do have to say that I really, really do enjoy the product, and there's absolutely no disrespect to face theory here but have I seen a significant improvement on my skin for using the higher concentration of the azelaic acid ingredient and I have to say no I haven't and you can also look at tranexamic acid which is another fabulous ingredient making its mark in the skincare community and tranexamic acid is originally used to help heal wounds and also help the blood clot However, in the skincare industry now, we sort of mainly use it to treat hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone. And tranexamic acid is still very effective at concentrations as low as 0.5%, going up to 1-2%. to However, again, we are seeing more brands develop higher concentrations of tranexamic acid. For instance, again, Face Fury have a 5% tranexamic acid serum and also Notorium have a 5% tranexamic acid product and yeah this would be absolutely perfect if you have severe acne scarring and hyperpigmentation but it all comes down to do we actually really need it and yes it all comes down to wanting quicker results in a short amount of time but the need for these quick results can really damage our skin barrier when using these products incorrectly and when using too many actives on our skin at once. But yes, with all of these high percentage active ingredients available to us, it really is hard to resist the urge to not buy all of them at once. In my opinion, less is more. The higher concentration of an ingredient, the more prone you are to sensitivity issues and damaging your skin barrier. Plus, they are more restrictive in your routine and you'll have to really be careful of what other ingredients and other products you are using in that specific routine. And also skincare is a journey, it's a marathon and not a sprint. To get great results from skin conditions such as acne and hyperpigmentation and fine lines, it doesn't take days and it doesn't take weeks for you to get results, it takes months and it takes consistent usage and, uh, what's the word? patience. <laughs> so I really do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please do let me know your thoughts and opinions on high percentage active ingredients. Do you have them in your routine or do you sort of avoid them at all costs? Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you very very soon for a brand new video. See you later, bye bye.